Molly here, back with some more Agrarian Skies. So I was doing a lot of off-screen work and decided that if anyone eventually in the future finds this series, there would be a large progress chunk between last episode and what I was planning to be the next one. So I'm going to start slowing down episodes a bit because I've been rushing through them kind of fast. Like the quest lines and everything like that. And we'll go back to doing one or two more things and me focus on my commentary a bit more. Because at the moment it's just make this, make that. Woo. Yeah, you, you can get that by doing the mod yourself, you don't... It's not interesting. Okay. So. I sort of was on the forums just looking at really cool ideas and I learnt you can put a ton an autonomous activator next to a crucible. And it works. It just keeps on putting cobblestone into the crucible, which I can then pipe out into a tank or any other thing. So this will be my core, I'm hoping, for all my wiring setups. Mostly. So I've got my Ignix, Igneous Extruder working, and this thing is amazing. I love this thing. I have now got 64 stacks of 64 cobblestone, as you can see in the up, in the up slot thingy. That means it's 4,096 cobblestone. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Oh, seeing as I was doing it all by hand before, this is a major upgrade. So basically, you just you know pipe water in through your aqueous accumulator, trying to talk, words are hard, and then just randomly going and grabbing some lava and putting it back in there to keep it working. That's cool. Okay, so I did set up some piping, which put some ideas in my head, all that sort of stuff. So this is how Steam Dynamo, I got it working. So you put some water in it and then you keep on putting coal. Which is not the most effective thing but I've got it synced up to my glacial precipitator which just needs water, which again, the piping. And the power from, so it needs to be pointing into it to work. And I've got it outputting into this barrel. So, as you know, for that quest, for the hoarding, we need 10,000 ice. So, I'm just going to pull out as many of these as I can and just complete as much of that as possible at the moment. Because... That's a lot of ice. I'm only 15%. So I might just keep on letting this run. Have fun with you. Yeah, 30%. That's gonna take a while. Yeah, keep on working. You can do it. But I also noticed that a, pe a lot of people were saying make the magmatic dynamo which is this thing and i'm gonna make another one of these so you're not gonna miss out on that crafting but it's great all you need is to put lava which now that i've got my lava maker that's really easy i've been piping it into my pulverizer which i've just been going wink wink and it's going and then I sort of break it down into what I need 
So gravel, if I just want the gravel, I'll put it straight in, which that's most of my time. But then I might want to put it in some more for sand or put it one more after that to dust. So at the moment I've got a lot of dust and gravel going because anima is done and that's from dust or I need my coal for this thingy which I get from gravel and of course I get all the chunks of copper or whatever from each of those so that's fun so I was trying to work out today a setting or a setup because these need power and you can do that through the RF which is what these things give away so the power meter is RF we do things by RF tick apparently that's how electricity works in this world cool so I want to go through first and just make sure that none of the un other dynamos are better and I do need to make them up for that quest of you know having everything so let's just go through that um oh Inva. that was Inva. so I made up a whole lot of invar so what, what does that need? that needs silver, cool I think two of them need that but I'll just make up one for now um, I went off and made some pistons, some machine frames because they're needed in anything. In our gear, iron in the middle. We need two of them. Cool. I can do that. I can do that. I probably should not have done this one first, but okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up using this one though. To be truly honest with you, I don't know how good the other ones are. Alright, so compression dynamo. Tin, tin, tin gears. So pretty much just the same thing. And is this another one of the silvers? Yep, it is. Why wouldn't it be? Tin gear. Tin. In here and we'll just make this up and have a look at what this does because it looks cool okay and the last one the reactant again the silver I should have just made up a whole bunch of these I don't know why I didn't and again iron in the center it likes using my iron for everything. Uh, bronze. It needed bronze. How do I make bronze? How do I make bronze? It's copper and tin. Am I remembering that right? From High school chemistry. Copper and tin, one to one. Yeah, I found out how that you can do that. That's pretty cool. I like it. One, two, three, four. Nope. That's how it works. And then two, that makes the one and one. I can make eight. Tin. Cop yeah, bronze. So we'll try to figure out what's the best one. We'll do our piping over here. So apparently, if you've got this and put saplings in it, it will plant it above and then it will grow. And then you can set up your harvester somehow and it will harvest it. So I'm hoping that I only need to bring this down to maybe one tree at a time that will be constantly going. Because I'm hardly harvesting this area anymore because I cannot be bothered. I've also moved my cacti, cacti over here because 
I wanted to make this pretty area. Eh, no, stop. Yeah, this is stuck here. I don't know how to unstuck that. I put it down. It's stuck. It's there forever. Have a good life. So this is going to be my wizard's tower. Where I'm going to do all my thorn craft. And it's going to be cool. I started off with the walnut floor planks that I got from that um, reward bag. And I'm going to need a lot more. Look how pretty this looks. It's going to be beautiful. But yeah, I'll need to start working on forestry to get a walnut tree. Because I don't have a walnut tree. Which is why I can't complete this. And I'm thinking about having a, like, a cool little bridge and then a big tower. And I'm going to have my nether portal in there so I can go off to the nether and get all the nether stuff. If we have a nether. I don't know. I don't know if we've got a nether. It says we might. It'll be fun to explore. That might be a whole episode in itself. Exploring and getting lost in the nether. Because that is what I do. <laughs> I've always got to write down my coordinates in the nether because I am constantly getting lost in it. I thought it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's put some of this tin in there. And some more of you. Because why not? Why not? Can it hurt? It can't hurt anything. We're all good. So, as you might have noticed from my lack of commentary lately, um, it's not that I'm not having fun making videos, because I really am, but I've also been really sick lately. So even though I might have all the ones in the world, it just when I come and sit to record, just sitting in my chair just makes me exhausted. But as long as I'm having fun, I'm going to make videos, even though people might not ever find these. Who cares? It's fun. Sorry, can't concentrate on many things at once. As aforementioned, sickness. So what does this one do? Okay, so you need... Generates redstone using fluid levels. What sort of fluid levels? Ta. Thank you. Let's sink you up to this one. Okay, so you need water. Do you also use lava? No. How does compression dynamo work? So RF stands for redstone flux, which I don't understand, but hey, that's just a measure of It needs some type of fuel, like liquefied. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna go with this one, but hey, I made it. So now we can cross that one off that list of everything we need to make. Woo! What else does it say? So this was what I was talking about. Um, one of each type. So we've got portable tank, which I've got in there. Strong boxes. Yeah, I don't know what that means. But we're getting there. I haven't had to make any of those yet, have I? Oh well. I'll have fun with them when the time comes. So we're still keeping with the magma. It can just stay there. What does the reactant do? Dino. 
down now. Google is your friend, people. Which I would have used Google before I put that down. And now it's stuck down. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's designed to be the solid calibers with a liquid fuel. So it's the liquid fuel. You don't know. I'm going to stick with what I know for now, which was which is the magmatic. <laughs> it's already getting there. Oh, I need some more of you. Fine, whatever. I'm getting to this point. Um, did I make another autonomous activator? No, I didn't. Well, I might just steal that one that I've got to play around with it. Igneous extruder. Did I make another one of those? Because that's what I wanted to play around with. So if I can put an igneous extruder. Can I make that one right now? Yeah, I can. Because I've got them right here. Tin. Pneumatic. See, I've got all the things. So it makes things faster. Oh yeah. So if I can put this. Okay. I'll eventually get a water source around here, but this is fine for now. Nope, maybe a bit too close. Alright, let's just move this small setup. Can I break that? Yes, but it doesn't give me anything back. Cool. Are you... I... Rain, stop. And you're coming with me, order on a river. That was words. I just make another one. What do I need for a portable tank? Tank. What do you guys do? That looks cool. Oh, so they're like teared. Interesting. Except for this one. This one's not tiered. We might as well just make you because you look cool. And I got enough info. I do need to walk over here for some coffee though. Ooh, I don't know the difference. Wait. Ooh, you can make more of that thingy. Let me put you down, so I'm not hurting myself with the lava. Because I will hurt myself with the lava. I am not a silly. Well, I am a silly, but I'm not a silly because I know I'm a silly. Does that make sense? Oh, I don't want to break up all this flooring. It took me ages to put it down. And that one goes into void. Okay, cool. Good to know. Can I do that? Is that okay? Is that enough for it not to f come burning down? I'm gonna end up making everything stop burning down. Because I am derp. Okay. You stay there. Don't burn anything. You come with me. I'll put you down immediately to stop the spread of fire. And 
and we'll just work around you for what we need. Okay, so you face that. Let's put some of you in there to make sure it's working. Yep. So I want to have the igneous extruder facing you so that you can make cobblestone. Let me just go get some water because it doesn't really make, need much input. Um, I think it can make... How much can it make? It can make a lot. Like, I just had... Like, this lava is extraneous. I only needed to put one bucket in there and it was lasting forever with just making the cobblestone. So, okay, so you're not going where you need to go. Nope. To play around finding what one takes me to what I need. This means output. You're not receiving. Do you need to set up input? Okay, so your input is over there. Ring a ring around the input. Oops. Don't be silly. So that's output. I don't want you being output, I want you being input. Cool. It takes a while to fo I wish they were like set up a little bit better, but hey, it'll work. And then some water. What do you do? Okay, you lit up. Alright, you're still not extracting to where I need you to extract. So let's start taking off you one by one. Okay, so you were there. You were there. You were the last one. So you're on top. I don't want you being on top. Nope. 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 Why you do this? Why you do this? Oh. Because I'm a derp. I knew this. You can't have that facing. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. You need at least one side so that it can be facing out. Because it needs a display panel. I don't know. Can't take out of you. I can't take out of you. Do you have enough cobblestone yet? Almost. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Oh yeah. And are you working properly now? No? Okay, fine, whatever. I spent enough time on that. So now we can take this little guy which has fluid duct and we will set it as an output. 
And then for now, we can just put the magmatic dynamo. No. How are you facing out, love? How do I do this again? And we'll put it here. No. Okay, fine, whatever. Excuse me. I won't burn down everything. Thank you. Are you getting the... No, no you're not. Because I need to put you on that. And then I made a crescent hammer. Which was not hard at all. Tin, iron, iron, and a Y. And then I can set that to output. So you're working. Let's put you on here, which is getting power. And are you working? <gasps> you work. Okay. So this has been going for about 26 minutes, which is a long time. We've got a base set up now that has almost constant power. Sort of. We'll work it out. I just gotta get this somehow to get into this. Which feeds this. Which feeds this. And then it feeds this, which grows. Oh, that's cool. And then we'll work out how to put the harvester in there. And then the sludge boiler. But this has gone far too long. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.